Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a products I've used up video, aka my beauty empties video. I just wanted to get this video up because I've been kind of collecting some things over the past couple months. I kind of just stored them away in this Lush bag. Sadly, nothing is from Lush in this video, but I kind of just plop things in there as I go. Put my empty things away in there so I can share with you guys. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I've been using up, please keep watching. The first thing that I see is, well, two things. It is a candle from Bath & Body Works, and you guys know I love burning candles. They're always behind me. We in my household just burn candles non-stop, whether it be in the kitchen, the living room, like wherever we are, we are burning some kind of candle. And recently, it's the Bath & Body Works candles. Love, love, love them so much. This one is Peach Bellini. It literally smells like you're on a beach. It's just so summery and just gets me so hyped for summer. It's just the greatest kind of peach smell. I don't even know how to explain it. It's just awesome. These run for about like $22 a piece, I believe. Yeah, $22 a piece, but you can get it on sale for like two for $22 or something like that. There's always deals going on at Bath & Body Works, so totally recommend to check them out. But this is the one that I've been currently using, and it just smells amazing. Pretty much finished it. Really can't burn anything else, um, even though like wick is like gone so I love repurchasing these and love them my next empty or thing that I'm about to be finished with is my Revlon color stay whipped and they're just like a drop in there I don't even know if it's gonna complete a full face look um, as you guys know totally my 100% go-to foundation um, at least from the drugstore it's just awesome I'm in number 250 medium beige if you're wondering I use this all year round it can be full coverage and it also can be wet with the beauty blender and a nice light coverage foundation and it just looks flawless on the skin just love this baby so this is like my seventh time repurchasing it i want to say so definitely going to be repurchasing it again the next thing in here is my johnson baby shampoo and i kind of cheated a little bit because it's not really empty but i thought i'd share with you guys on how i clean my makeup brushes this is what i use this is the star of the show it really takes away all of the makeup and just anything extra on your brushes it great um it smells awesome it kind of smells like a baby <sighs> love it um it really does take away all of the makeup and gunk on your brushes and it's very sensitive so it won't harm your brushes as well and i love it i do have quite a bit left but i wanted to share with you um what i do use and i went through this whole bottle in like four months i want to say um i do clean my brushes pretty frequent so that's pretty good in a way, I guess. Um, but yeah, I use Johnson's Baby Shampoo. The next thing in here is my L'Oreal Ever Sleek Sulfate Free Deep Conditioner. I used up the whole entire thing. I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but I did. It smells okay. I smelled so many other great conditioners that make me want to literally eat it. This one's alright. It's not the best, but it does help my hair a lot. It made it a lot more soft so I really enjoy getting deep conditioners and this one has worked for me it says it's a 48 hour frizz control um, my hair is a little bit frizzy today obviously I didn't use this last night but um, it does help with all of that that it claims to do I really love it it again from the drugstore by L'Oreal so you can't really beat it um, I don't remember the price of this but I did get it like two months ago I recommend you to use it once weekly and I've used it maybe like once a month I don't really stick with the directions if that's weird to say I don't know but um, I've used it like once per month and it was doing my hair good so I will probably repurchase this one my next empty would be a lotion from Bath & Body Works the Hawaii passion fruit it smells amazing oh it's it just smells so good it smells so summery I love it Ugh. I basically have like a drop left but I wanted to share with you so I really like it these are about five bucks each sometimes they have sales where you can get like two for a certain amount but I got mine for around five dollars and I absolutely love it um, one thing I want to say is that this does not help your skin as in like getting away dry skin and like really really nourishing it it just kind of gives a nice scent and makes your sh makes your hands or body shine just a little bit um, it won't like deep condition your body if that's what you're looking for then definitely get um, an all over body like cream not a lotion because lotions just kind of have that nice scent to it um, that's what I've noticed in my personal experience and preference but um, for the smell of it I kind of just got it just to smell good 
but I used up this one. Jumping over to makeup products, I wanted to share with you my Whitening Lightning Brow Bar to Go. It has been through a lot. We actually broke, so um, I lost the brush, it, the, the top broke off. I've had this thing for like three years now. Um, I mainly don't really use this middle color right here. I use this dark brown color and I've hit pan on it. I kind of just have a little bit left in the circle. Um, mainly I've been using this wax over here, which is completely like finished. That's why I'm sharing it. Um, this wax is really great with setting your eyebrows. Even if you're using a different kind of eyebrow product, you can still use this wax and it'll go great. Really just set them down and keep them in place all day long. So I really love this. Again, it's like three years old. So if you're looking for like a new eyebrow product, totally check out the Whitening Lightning Brow Bar to Go. They just lower their prices, which is really great, and so they're a little bit more affordable. So um, yeah, that's another product I've used up. Again, with my makeup products that I've basically used are where these Ardell lashes. They are the 116. Obviously, I don't have them to show you because I've worn them like six times, and it just was time to throw it in the garbage because they just looked like complete... I don't even know what, like a dead spider. It was just really unattractive to look at, so I was like, I'm tossing you. So I just kept the packaging to show you. There's nothing really to show you, but they were the Ardell 116s. If I find a picture on Google or something, I'll insert it over here so you can see what they looked like. I got so much use out of them. I love them. They were so natural looking, yet gave like a nice glam to your eyes. I loved it. Those were them. I've been really getting into lashes lately. I don't know why. Right now I'm just using my own. Um, I do use my own like on a daily basis. But like if I'm going out or like to a special event or anything like that, I really do like to wear them. I never did. I was like, it's such a hassle to put them on. But really, it takes my makeup a lot less to do than wearing my own. So I don't know. I've been really into them lately. So those were the Ardells. Next thing is my CoverGirl Lash Perfection Mascara. Sadly, they discontinued this, um, but I love it. There's really nothing in here to show you. Completely dry and just done. I had the color black, I believe. Yeah, black or very black, and I loved it. It made my lashes very long, gave the length that it needed, and gave a little bit of extra volume, too. I loved it. Really sad that they don't have it in stock anymore. I really don't know why they took it off the market, but I don't know. Um, but she's a goner now. The next thing in here is my Benefit Their Real Mascara. This is the sample size, I believe, yeah. But I use this, and it lasted me a super long time. Um, it made my lashes huge, separated them so nicely, gave the volume I wanted. It also has this little thing on the bottom over here. Kind of looks like a ball, and it has spikes on it. And I use that going like this to use for my bottom lashes. And it made my bottom eyelashes so freaking long. I loved it. I don't know why I never bought the real big tube. I think I'm just stuck on my Dior Blackout Mascara. You know, I like to try new things, and this was a sample, and I've used two samples because I had got two birthday gifts. I don't know how that even happened, but I used two of them up. So I basically used up maybe one. I don't really know what that's equivalent to. But I love this thing. I will probably buy the bigger tube for the summertime. I'm just hooked on my Dior. I don't know what it is, but this is really awesome. So if you're looking for a new mascara to separate volume and do all that jazz, check out Benefit. That's very real. Another hair product that I used up was this her Herbal or Herbal Essences um, conditioner. I've talked about this several times on my channel. I really love it. And then the last thing in this bag is the Wet n Wild Mega Liner, the liquid liner in black. I completely use this. The brush is like it's like bent already. It just makes a really nice solid black line on your lids. I absolutely adore it. I've been using a lot of eyeliner pens lately. I think I have a better control with a pen than a liquid liner like this, but I will always go back to this. I've used this since I was like in like seventh grade, I want to say, or like eighth grade. Awkward days, but I've used this so long ago and I will never let it go. I kind of just keep going back and forth buying it. But I have a bunch back there that I've been using that are like the pen form, which I like too. Um, so yeah, this one's just in black, very basic, nothing really to say about it, just that I used it up. <laughs> so that's that. So that was all of the products and beauty kind of related things that I've used up and have been enjoying. I don't really use a lot, a lot of products in just like one or two months. I kind of use the same thing. I'm a creature by habit and I just kind of use the same things that I know works for me. Um, so yeah, that was basically all I had to show you that I've used up. 
Um, yeah, if you guys like these kinds of videos, make sure to give it a thumbs up for me. I want to kind of keep up with these videos every month or every other month, something like that. So if you guys are interested in products that I've been using and loving, and you guys want to see that, make sure to let me know in the comments below or by liking this video, whichever one. Yeah, I think that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And sorry if everything was like all over the place and I, if you guys got bored with it because I mentioned these products a million and one times. I'm sorry, but I just thought I would get one up for you guys. So anyway, I'm going to go. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. It's the conditioner form. Oh my god. Really? You are the icing on my cake You are the smile I can't replace You are You are